suggests a government conspiracy to suppress the reports and keep for itself the scientific knowledge the aliens bring. It seems to have been a singularly ineffective policy so far. Furthermore, despite an extensive search by the SETI project, we haven't heard any alien television quiz shows. This probably indicates that there are no alien civilizations at our stage of development within a radius of a few hundred light years. Issuing an insurance policy against abduction by aliens seems a pretty safe bet. This brings me to the last of the big questions, the future of the human race. If we are the only intelligent beings in the galaxy, we should make sure we survive and continue. But we are entering an increasingly dangerous period of our history. Our population and our use of the finite resources of planet Earth are growing exponentially, along with our technical ability to change the environment for good or ill. But our genetic code still carries a selfish and aggressive instincts that were of survival advantage in the past. It will be difficult enough to avoid disaster in the next hundred years, let alone the next thousand or million. Our only chance of long-term survival is not to remain inward-looking on planet Earth, but to spread out into space. The answers to these big questions show that we have made remarkable progress in the last hundred years. But if we want to continue beyond the next hundred years, our future is in space. That is why I'm in favor of manned, or should I say, personed, space flight. All my life, I have sought to understand the universe and find answers to these questions. I have been very lucky that my disability has not been a serious handicap. Indeed, it has probably given me more time than most people to pursue the quest for knowledge. The ultimate goal is a complete theory of the universe, and we are making good progress. Thank you for listening. Professor, if you had to guess either way, do, do you now believe that it is more likely than not that we are alone in the Milky Way as a civilization of our level of intelligence or higher? This, uh, this answer took um, seven minutes and really gave me an insight into the incredible uh, act of generosity this whole talk was for Ted. I think it quite likely that we are the only civilization within several hundred light years. Otherwise, we would have heard radio waves. The alternative is that civilizations don't last very long, but destroy themselves. Professor Hawking, thank you for that answer. Uh, we will take it as a salutary warning, I think, for the rest of our conference this week. Uh, Professor, uh, we really thank you for the extraordinary effort you made to share your questions with us today. Thank you very much indeed.